I just wanted to have a quick chat. Quick doesn't mean anything. Quick can be a second or it could be 10 seconds or it could be three minutes or whatever. One of the problems I've noticed a lot of people have contacted me said they've got information overload. The other problem is they don't know what's to believe and what's not to believe and often they search out things that they hope are true because that's what they want to believe. So this information overload there's a number of ways to get around it. If you're on Facebook, one of the best ways is to create a group that you make private. And that group might be Paul's Archives or Paul's Stash, whatever, it doesn't matter what you call it. But it's private so people won't get to it unless you let them to. And what you do is you share into it any of those um, things that you really want to keep all the things that you want to have a look at later so that you don't lose them so the important things you put you share to your group or copy to your group and then you can always find them because it doesn't get lost in the thousands of posts opportunity there's so many alternative opportunity I was talking to a young lady, she's in her 40s, so she's a lot younger than me, who's 68 this year, and she was watching one of our um, posts, and it had a video, and it was talking about um, you don't have to have council approval in New South Wales for a granny flat. Her father had died three years previously, which is sad, and her mother um, still lived in the old home at the end of the town, she said at the, it was right at the end. So she showed her mum from Global Non-Compliance Australia, she showed her about the granny flat and her mum said, yeah, it would be ideal if you did something like that in the back yard. If you moved down with me, I'd feel a lot more comfortable having someone to talk to and someone um, to be with and just um, socialise because it's really hard when you're living on your own with a big yard and um, there's so much to do. Anyway, so she and her boyfriend, um, that's what they're going to do, they're going to build a granny flat. And when she mentioned it to her mum, she said, I'm going to do up Dad's um, garden I'm going to fix it up and I'm going to the chook pen we'll put some chooks in and that and the mum first thing she said is I miss the sound of the chooks and their antics um, it's going to cost us 70, 70 just over seventy thousand dollars to build the granny flat but it's going to solve a lot of problems um, and it's going to create lots of opportunities I'll talk about um, opportunities with real estate later. Financial, what can I say? You need to eliminate or reduce your debt. You've got no choice there. You've got to, um, and you've got to see when what you're wanting to, when you see something that you're going to buy, you see, make sure it's not a want, it's a need at the moment, and that way you'll be really protecting yourself. Make your backyard a resort so that you don't need to go on holidays, you can go out the back and relax. I've got a friend in Canberra, Harry, he's got one of the most beautiful backyards, it's like a resort and you just walk into it and you go, oh, it's just so wonderful to be able to walk out the back. Um, and make sure you have a food forest, you need to be growing food and etc. You need to hang with like-minded people. For example, I'd like you to investigate the Australia Project, there, see if there's a chapter in your town, I'll leave a link below. And it's the Australia Project.org, you'll find it and you'll find their ideas. They're 
a community throughout Australia of like-minded people that enjoy freedom, want the future for their kids and grandkids to be a good one, um, not controlled by the elite and corrupt governments. They're even at the moment looking at the People's Bank. They're looking at a lot of parallel community stuff. Uh, by parallel, it doesn't mean you're completely separate from what the government's doing. You're still registering your car and things, but any time you can get the chance or the opportunity to um, have an alternative, you should always look at what the alternative is. Uh, like in Tamworth, we have our own food bank where um, we enjoy the best produce. Um, we buy from farmers. We have um, education that's called New Ed, um, where you have your contract with the teachers. There's still the curriculum, but the government doesn't have any effect on it. And you know that your children are not getting all this woke bullshit and the most important thing is you need to be hanging out each week with like-minded people just because your family is not interested doesn't mean there's not a few thousand people in your town that have the same mindset as you they don't want to be controlled by the elite they want to reject the great reset etc. You need to become as self-reliant as possible and as self-sufficient as possible. Your self-sufficiency might come from, um, you mightn't have a big yard but you can have a garden at a friend's place so you can help them, they can help you, you can make lots of um, choices that will be helping your community. If you're not hanging out with like people in your town only on the Facebook, it's not going to help you in the future if, 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 if these most social medias are taken down. Um, heirloom seeds, we've got a seed um, saving group we've started and also a seed buying group of heirlooms seeds because they're the seeds that you can save the seeds after you grow the product. Alternative society, most of you are already into the parallel society. You're watching alternative media like Z Media, Triple Tap, Redacted. Um, keep an eye on it, MSM. You've got Sky News, etc. I don't really worry about 9, 7 or 10, but um, or ABC. I just need to know what's happening and get some honest, as honest as you can get MSM, mainstream media. But I don't believe, I believe all media is biased, so we've always got to look at that. But we're smart enough to know that. Have a blackout kit, so a power bank for your your phone. So if the power goes out for three days, you need to be able to charge it from your car or whatever. But if you've got a power bank, you will be able to uh, just plug it in. And there are solar power banks, and you'll be able to keep your iPad and your iPhone charged. So that's a good place to start. Also, if you've got a, a lantern, um, you can recharge it through the USB if you use a USB lantern. Um, I'll put a link down below to a blackout kit. Purchasing property. A lot of people are having um, problems with their, their cost of mortgages, it's increasing and things like that. There are alternatives. One could be that you move further out, rent and rent your 
um, property out and it's paying off the mortgage and you're paying lower rent. Um, we've got a property in Finlay which we're going to offer to the tenants. Um, it's $140,000 the property and it's got a two bedrooms on it and it's also got garage and carports etc and what we're going to offer them is to lease to buy or rent to buy so what will happen is we'll, they'll give us a three thousand or four thousand dollar deposit and we will guarantee that when they're ready to buy it it will be at the 140 price and instead of them paying the 120 140 dollars a week they're paying now they will put it pay extra but it will go into their own trust so that that will reduce um, the price so they're not going to really need that 10 percent deposit etc so in five years time what will happen they'll take that three thousand and what they've been putting into their um, property trust account they will take that and that will reduce the price when they go to the bank to to um, purchase the property in five years. They'll probably own it in less than eight years anyway. So the property will stay the same price. So there are rent to buys or rent to lease properties out there, especially in the country areas. Um, the other thing is there's a lot of properties, especially in the block land market I see now often, is in small towns and that is where you, you get owner finance and generally there's no interest on that either. So the owner finances your property, so it might be 10 years to pay it off and um, you don't have any banks, it's parallel again. Both these you know it's trying to get away from the banks trying to get away from the corporations but there's all different alternatives out there and thanks for listening and if you've got any comments just comment below anyway or send me a message thanks again